guys I hope you're doing well today this is just more of like a random kind of beauty video I'm gonna call it the random roundup because yeah I'm just gonna be talking about all kinds of things today and I've had a couple of requests to, and I'm gonna include those as well so um, yeah I guess I'll go ahead and get started okay so the first thing is you're probably wondering what this big red thing is on my scarf and um, I took my father-in-law and uh, my mother-in-law we went to a Veterans Day program um, and the children made these beautiful red handmade little poppies and um, I just thought it was so special and so sweet that they gave it to all of the guests that came and there was a lot of people so they worked really hard and I just thought it was special to leave that on because it's just always oh, just so meaningful to me so anyways in case you see it flopping around that's what that is okay so random number one and I have to try to wrangle my little one but I had someone ask me if they could see my new kitty because he debuted by meowing like repetitively in my last video. And this is him. He's actually a Maine Coon mix. And I believe I want to say he's probably kind of mixed with more of a darker tabby stripe. But um, this is Peppers and his middle name is Italics. So this is Peppers Italics. Say hi Peppers. Can you say hi? He's a beautiful boy. He has little tufts on his ears and he's just... He's actually still a kitten, believe it or not, but these guys can get up to be like 26 plus pounds. So um, he is just my sweet boy. I actually rescued him. I'll be filming a video and he'll probably be making more more frequent appearances because he does like to kind of interrupt and actually he'll go right into the tripod and try to run through it. And we are just so blessed to have him with us. And for those of you that have seen him um, on Instagram and stuff, this is, this is my whale baby. I love you. So anyways, this is Pepper's Italics, and I definitely wanted you guys to meet him and say hi. Say hi. Okay, so I'm going to put him down, and you'll probably see him trying to get back up again, because he is just the most lovingest thing. He just always wants to be in my arms. Um, so anyhow, I was so happy to find him. Well, actually, I think he found me. I, I don't know. I think that's the way it works with pets. They kind of adopt you. But okay, so my random roundup, which I know is going to trip me up if I say that again, so thankfully I haven't tripped on it so far, but I just want to talk about a couple of different products because I didn't really feel the need to like do one separate review for each. Um, I'm going to run through them really quickly. I'm going to start with this one. I know, oh, there goes the cat. Come on, get down, get down. You're going to shake everybody up. You're going to shake everybody up. Go that way. Thank you. Okay. So back to my video, Johnson's No More Tangles. It's so hard anymore to just find a basic spray detangler that is no nonsense. And I mean, I really think this has been so fantastic on my hair. It just makes my hair so silky. It smells nice and light. It doesn't overpower whatever scents that I'm using in my hair. And um, it's very affordable and it just works great on detangling. I mean, it doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy. You can get right up to your roots. It doesn't make it feel like goopy or greasy. So yeah, if you guys have ever walked past this and you're just looking for a no frills hair detangler this is definitely worth checking out and I really really recommend that so I've actually been enjoying that and using that to detangle my hair when hair care <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this product because this is the most confusing product I have ever used not saying that I don't like it but I'm just trying to understand the purpose of it because quite frankly to me it feels like when I use this product um, I'm putting conditioner in my hair and just washing my hair over and over and over again with conditioner. Um, it's a very unique feeling. This one right here is Winter Vanilla Mint and I had always been curious about it. I like it but I don't know what to say about this product and it's so funny because not many products give me like a hard time like as far as explaining them, okay? So first of all, when you get the bottle, it says you have to use like one to three pumps for a leave-in conditioner, but when you wash, you have to use 20 to 30 pumps. I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's crazy because my hand was mounded up like this high with 20 to 30 pumps. So I'm thinking that's not right. So I opened up the bottle and I scooped it all back in and I was like, okay, let me try gentle pumps. So I did like half pumps and then it got to be about like, you know, like maybe a mount about like this in the palm of my hand. And I went to use it on my hair. It says to rinse your hair first, like in the shower, to wash your scalp with water. So I did that. And then I pumped out, you know, my small amount and I rubbed it through. Um, it really made me aware in the time that I've used it to like scrub my scalp more, which may or may not be a good thing because generally when I wash my hair, I just kind of go and then I'm done. But with this, it really made me aware of, oh my God, I really have to scrub my scalp. But then when I put it on, there's no bubbles. There's like no bubbles whatsoever. Um, it's called a cleansing conditioner. So basically you're kind of washing your hair with a conditioner. Now, the thing that I don't like about Wen is that 
Um, if you have oily hair, and in essence you're cleaning your hair with conditioner, you kind of don't have as long of a cleansing result. And I'm gonna try and say this so it makes sense, but when you wash your hair with one and you have oily hair, you kind of feel like you have to wash your hair more frequently. When I use regular shampoo, I can usually skip about a day or two. I usually only like to skip one day at the most, but um, I feel like I can go longer in between because my hair doesn't get as oily. But when you cleanse your hair with conditioner, you sort of feel like your hair doesn't get clean. I can't explain it, but something about the mental thing, I need bubbles, I need the frothiness, and I also need kind of the cleansing and stripping that you get from a like a traditional shampoo that takes the oils out of your hair because my hair is so oily. So if you're gonna do the one thing um, and you have oily hair, you would pretty much need to wash your hair like every day, hands down, I would recommend that because it's gonna leave a lot of oil in your hair. Your, your oil and your everything kind of builds up, in my opinion, especially if you have super oily hair, which I do. Um, if you have dry hair or a dry scalp, I think this would be incredible for you because technically you're constantly adding moisture to your hair. I mean, that's all you're doing. You're moisturizing your scalp, you're moisturizing your hair, you're rinsing it lightly, and then you keep going. So I would definitely recommend that. Now, one tip I do have, if you are wanting to try one and try this product, um, because it doesn't bubble, because you don't feel it actually like frothing up and cleaning your head, uh, I would recommend definitely getting something with a minty tingle factor to it. Anything you see that maybe has a mint or a green tea or any type of, I guess, flavor scent that has some type of mintiness to it, um, it kind of helps you overcome the fact that you don't have bubbles because you get that really cool zingy feeling on your scalp. So at least you feel like you're cleansing your hair and there's nothing like going awry with it. I do like how shiny and healthy it makes my hair feel. So, I mean, I can say good things about it. It's just so bizarre. And I can't believe I just took up so much time talking about when, but it really is something that you have to experience. I actually ended up really enjoying the Olay Luscious Embrace Moisturizing Body Wash. And the one that I have is this one. I'll show you, make sure you can see that really well. And this is the one with jojoba butter and crushed orchid extract. And I don't know if you can see the stripes in it, but it's supposed to be kind of like moisturizer and body wash all in one. Wow, let me tell you, this stuff smells amazing and they, they like have a couple of different scents for this, but of all the cleansing like products that I've tried recently, I have to say these like moisture ribbons or whatever, something about this just makes my skin feel so good when I'm in the shower um, and wash it off. I just feel like I have such a nice layer of moisture on my skin and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or tight or like it's under moisturized. So if you're looking for something and you want to try it and you're looking for something more like a drugstore line, I definitely recommend this Olay Luscious Embrace Moisturizing Body Wash. It has been awesome and I really do like that. Okay, now on to the beauty stuff. Um, my first one is going to be a blush. There's just one notable one that I just kind of wanted to share with you guys and that is my MAC Mocha. I have just been reaching for this non-stop and I think you can see that's actually true to color. I'm looking right at it. And um, it's just such a nice, I think you can see it, it's just such a nice sort of a, a warm kind of a pinkish, brownish, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know that Mocha best describes the color, but um, I just really enjoy the color of it and I feel like it blends out nicely. I just apply it with my um, Real Techniques brush which you can see is still well used and well loved. I think I always show my brushes when they're dirty, which is like crazy. But um, yeah, so I have really been enjoying that. I looked in my drawer where, I guess I call it my where makeup goes to die drawer, and I kind of dug out my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. And I am the shade, in case you're curious, 002 Vanilla. I have to say this is such a great competitor with all of the high-end foundations that I enjoy or the ones that I've tried and tested. Um, this one is just so, I know it had its moment a while back, but this one is just so overlooked these days. And I think people maybe miss out on it if they're trying to struggle to get like, get their hands on the latest and greatest crazes. But I am telling you, I have oily skin in my T-zone, I have visible pores, and um, I kind of have an issue with like glowy skin, 
but I do like a dewy look and I'm actually wearing this right now. It, if you're struggling with finding coverage, this is definitely a great option. Um, I feel like it gives you medium to medium plus coverage. You can build it and uh, it's on the high side of medium plus when it comes to building your foundation, but um, you can't see through it. Like this stuff is amazing and it's not so thick that you look like your makeup is caked on and actually when you set it with powder, you just get such a smooth natural looking finish that looks like a second skin and I swear I don't know how this ended up in the back of my drawer because literally I have been using this like crazy for like weeks now and I've had this for I've actually had it for about a year and I know you're supposed to get rid of stuff but you know what if it's not smelling actually this one it says you can have it for 24 months so I'm still good it has a little thing down at the bottom but if it's not smelling bad and I don't feel like the product's broken down or anything like that then you know I'll keep using it it's fine I'm not picky like that so, you know, that is my random roundup. I just wanted to, like I said, get on here, say, hey, I know I've been missing you guys since I've been hacking up. Oh, throat issues. Oh my gosh, it's been awful. Laryngitis is not something I recommend, which by the way, I got my flu shot. So hopefully I can forego the flu this season. That was not pleasant. I was like feeling pretty rough for like, I don't know, like two days after my flu shot, but that's over too. So hopefully I am over that. Um, it's a Veterans Day, so happy Veterans Day whenever this goes up. If you're a veteran or you serve in the military, or if someone in your family or a loved one does, then happy Veterans Day. Hopefully you enjoyed this random roundup video because it's very random, but I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys. So, um, yeah, I hope you're having a great day or night while you're watching this, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!